Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, we did the entirety of Padova. Of course, we had done a bunch of the fragments before and whatnot, but all of the quests and the boss in one day was nothing to sneeze at. I am very happy with those results. I probably have not done the video on all of the, uh... Inquisitive Waltz yet, but that's because I don't have access to all of them yet. So I'm gonna hold off on all that footage until I make sure that I can show everything all at once. Okay, can I go into Barrett's house? Yes, no, maybe so. Let me guess no. Okay, I actually need it to be 9 a.m., so, uh, skip! Hello, Barrett. Good morning. Warden Aria. Aria, your father used to work very hard on his farm. That's, uh, not what I'm asking about. Did you have a question about class? I guess it has to be up top. Hey, 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 how can you walk with that? Good morning, Good morning Aria. Aria, maybe it's just my imagination, but your face has really changed. Good morning. Good morning, Aria. Well done, Arya. Congratulations on defeating the giant, dangerous monster that made Padova Mountains its domain. I'd love to hear the story of your battle when you have time. Good morning. You defeated monsters in the Padova Mountains. Well, I think I underestimated you. Let me talk to him. You're... Ah! Good morning. Good morning, Arya. You just got so strong all of a sudden, I can't even pretend to act like you anymore. Heck yeah! The other kids like me! I'm popular! Good morning, Warden Aria. Barrett, I found another piece of the tablet. Shouldn't this be all of them? Yeah, it looks like we have all the pieces of the tablet now. Hurry, see if you can read it. Alright, let me give it a try. Hmm. What? No, it can. But this here and this... No, I can't believe it. But it has to be. It couldn't be anything else. And if so, this town. Parrot, what does it say? There are still parts of that I don't understand, Arya. Can you read this part here? Huh? Uh, it says this town. This town. How about here? Can you read this part? It says sealed. Sealed. What does that mean? It means something's being sealed away. What? It seems that there's something much more to this town than I could have ever possibly believed. What do you mean? A long time ago, this town was built in order to see away one of the older dragons. F Firesome. The god of fire. Fearsome? I, I, I'm questionable on that. But this seal would only last for 1,000 years. Now that the seal is starting to break. Actually, if that tab was correct, the seal should have already been broken years ago. All of those earthquakes that we have had are a sign that the seal is weakening. Fearsome is rampaging somewhere beneath the ground. What will happen if the seal's broken? Fearsome is the god of fire and destruction. It will lay waste to the world. Then, legend says that the god of Earth, Terrible, will be born anew. It will be the signal of the rebirth of our planet. That means we're all gonna die! Not necessarily. In the past, the Earthmates were able to command powerful magics and steal Fearsome away, right? According to this tablet, Dragon Break is the key to sealing Fearsome away. Dragon Break, so you're saying that we could use the same magic to seal him away again? Possibly, but in order for it to be sealed, it must first be defeated in battle. We have to... we have to battle a Dragon God? Sealing spell is written on this tablet, there's no time to hesitate, I'll go. But Barret, can you even use magic? Let me try. Dragon Break! I can't do it. I just don't have the blood of an Earthmate floating in my veins. Let me give it a try. Dragon Break! The final proof. It, it worked! Barret, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. It seems like this magic doesn't deal damage directly. What does that mean? It seems that this is a support magic. Once you cast this spell, your regular attacks will become stronger. They will? 
Aurea, you must be a descendant of the Earthmates. When you were able to read the writing on the stone tablet, I thought you might be. But when Kai lost his memory and came to this town, that too must have been because he was born with the blood of an Earthmate. Then I have to be the one to go. You can't be serious. This isn't anything for a child to do. This isn't like... This isn't like going to play inside the dungeons. We're talking about one of the dragon gods here. I, if I don't go, who will? If nobody goes to seal the dragon gods, something awful is going to happen, isn't it? That... that might be true. But what if the seal has already been broken? It could already be too late. And if the seal hasn't broken yet, for just... for whatever reason, then maybe, just maybe, the seal will keep holding forever. But... Listen to me, you can't go, absolutely not. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I'm gonna hold on to the dragon spray. I'm gonna hold on to the dragon break spell, alright? Yes, sir. Well, regardless, we don't have any way to get beneath the city. That was a lot of information all at once. So, like we've already said in the past and we were pretty sure about, we are in fact an Earthmate. We have the blood of an Earthmate, but obviously Mana does not. Our father was an Earthmate though he couldn't remember it. So, what does that mean for us? That means that not only do we have to fight the Dragon God Fearsome, one of the four legendary dragons said to cause balance to the world, but also that this is dangerous and our father's missing for a reason. Barret will not help us here. He refuses to allow us to go. But I have a good question. When have we ever let that stop us before? We have to first get away under the town, and then second, beat the Dragon God. To do the latter, we will need access to the Dragon Break spell. And let's be fair, Barret's not that hard to read. If we come over here to the library, I'm not sure where exactly. This, maybe? I found Dragon Break! Now that I have this magic, I'll be able to steal fear some way. If I don't do it, everyone's gonna be in trouble. You can't hide it that easily, Barret. This is my father's school, after all. Morning. Morning, Arya. Don't even think about trying to seal the... Don't even think about trying to go seal the Dragon God. You hear that? Well, regardless, we don't have any time to get beneath the city anyway. Anyway, to the point of her. Isn't there any way to get beneath the city? Beneath the city, you say? I wonder if I've been preparing for that for a while. Maybe some 28 floors would do it, right? Hello, Mayor. I want to make the barn larger. You can't make your barn any larger. Mayor Byron, I'd like to make a bar a further addition to the barn. Would that be okay? I don't know if there's any point in adding any more floors. Just one more floor, please. Well, if that's all you want, then okay. One more floor it is. Thank you very much. I'll foot the bill for the final floor myself. <laughs> Work will start right away, so go take a look. Thanks again, Mayor Byron. Alright. Let's go see. Apparently they're super fast, and with only one floor, it probably shouldn't even take a full day, right? Maybe. Basement floor 28. Oh, there's a hole here! I've got to see what's going... I've got to see what's down there! Alright. This is it, guys. Arya, go down to hole. Wow, what is this place? I can't believe something this is like this. I can't believe something this has been under the pillage the whole time. That was confusing to read. It looks kind of like some sort of temple. I wonder what's here. Well, I don't have any choice but to investigate. Alright, welcome to Palermo Shrine. I think I'll save. This will be the hardest dungeon in the game. For now. <laughs> There is an addendum to that, but that has nothing to do with the actual game itself. We'll get into some neat stuff later. I have been thinking, and I think, so pretty soon, 
I'm going to be releasing an episode covering all of the spots that you can go around doing Inquisitive Waltz. Some of them are exclusive to Palermo Shrine. So once we go through Palermo Shrine and I get access to all of them, I will not only do a video covering all of them, but I'll finally do the monster video for every single dungeon, including this one. I figured that would be a good big episode to cover all the content. It will probably be close to an hour as my guess, so I hope some of you enjoy that kind of nerdiness. It'll be its own contained thing, and it will also include all of the enemies from the uh, prior generation. And I got sealed immediately. And I, of course, don't have medicine, right? Why would I ever carry medicine on me? Whatever, let's start looking around up here. This dungeon will take some time to beat. But, let's go down for now. So, we're on the second floor, room seven. Now this is room six. Ooh, switch. That should do it. I don't know what the switch was for. I think just that door. Probably should wait to press switches until I figure out where I need to get to. Alright. Another thing this allows us to do... I'll accept the scrap iron because it's good for grinding. I was really hoping to show off what this dungeon could give. Nope. You can get, plat uh, you can get platinum here. It's a decent place to get it. It's being mean. <laughs> oh. And while I'm thinking about it... These are little dragons. They are a complete pain, but they have a very important drop. Level up. And these are, I believe, monster boxes? They're either monster boxes or gobble boxes. They're a mimic enemy. Oof. Way to hurt me. Stunned without even the animation. Stunned. Oof. I was really hoping to get one of their drops, because I need it for crafting, but we don't really have the health to do it, and I can't heal myself, so we'll get back to that. Oh, actually, one thing I could do... Heal myself. Hmm? Huh? I wonder what this is. It's really faint, but it looks like a picture of a dragon. Interesting. This sure is a big gate. I wonder how I can make it open. Alright, we'll get back to that later. Dives out of the way of that guy for now. And now we go down to this part of the second floor. Oh. I knew new enemies. We recognize the lower forms of those ones. We can't get there yet. Oh, oh no. I have next to no healing items. And those guys combo a lot. I wish I had some way to cure the seal. But I am a fool. That should do it. Alright, so this should open the door now. No? Uh, uh, dodge, 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 dodge. <laughs> okay. We've almost finished exploring the first four or so. A 
Oh, menam, 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 menam. Oh, menam, 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 menam. Oh, menam, 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 menam. I know I need to go and get healed. But I figure I'd take advantage of these real quick. Because I want to see if I can go up the other path. No, I can't even go down that way. Interesting. So if I go right over here, dodge out of the way of this guy, which is ready to trample me. Very mean, by the way. I'm guessing you have to go up the right path and then you head up left and get locked in there. Yes, I took a wrong turn. Dang, unfortunate. Alright. There's something strange about the slab. Here I go. Probably should have saw that one coming, but it's fine. That's not what I meant to do. There's something strange about the slab. Here I go. I examined it, but nothing happened. Maybe something happened if I defeat the monsters. So they have spears, is the issue. Hey! No healing yourself! Bad! So, do I need to defeat the monsters? No, you only need to break the spawner. Good to know. Doing hot at this point. I made a mistake. <laughs> Dodging is the most important thing. Okay, so I know how those fight. Out of the way down here. There we go. Don't need to beat the monsters, just the spawner. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Take care of one first. There we go. No, I've hit this one at least once before. Done. Defeated the monsters, but nothing happened. What? A picture of a dragon starting to appear. It's a picture of a dragon crawling on the earth. I wonder what it means. Ow, is what it means. Alright, so we finished that entire path. Now let's get out of here and, and stop playing this hard mode. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, out of here. I can get back to the barn from here. I feel a little sick.
And I want to buy something. Let's buy a stack of round off. I know I said I wanted to make it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Now that we've done a little bit in here, let's head down to the first floor and use our clippers. Wait, was that a large? Uh... Okay, I accidentally brushed this one at one point when I was trying to brush Bet. So I guess what we do is we pet the one that's supposed to give us a small, and we hope. It's still small. I'm gonna have to get some more woolies because I'm gonna need, uh, not a lot, but some wool. We're gonna take Kane with us and go right back in the barn. Let's go to the very bottom of the barn. That's why I gave that weird text every time we tried. Um -um -um. Okay, here I go. Now that we have Kane with us and a way to cure the. Oh, tread heal. Good try. And a way to cure ceiling. I don't mind doing the combat. Alright, so right around here. I need one item, so I need to get it real quick. Looking like I'm gonna get it here. Low odds, no matter what. Actually, just a sec. Never tell me the odds. Yeah. Looking at the percentages here, it's abysmal. So give me a moment. Okay. Let's head down the left path. Good job, Kane. The switch is already on. What did it do, is the question. It's clearly not open this door. I don't know what this is. It's really faint, but it looks like a picture of a dragon. Okay. It's implying that that was on the right, but the left doesn't have anything down that path. There we go. That's one of them. Level up again. That should do it. That must hit the switch before. Okay. Okay, we're gonna fight these guys once more. Partially because I want the monster boxes dropped. Now I can get through! Oh, when I did it, it must have stopped me from leaving because monsters. Okay, cool. <laughs> Didn't even know I was supposed to kill them. Uh, it, what it? Because the tail, got it. Okay, you can't walk through that on Kane. That's silly. Alright, we're down to the third floor now. Ah. Okay. You cannot be so rude. Gobble box and one of those. Nothing I need. Ah, wait. 
There's a door that I can't open. Oh. Sorry, Kane. Up we go. To the left. I mean, let's give it a shot. Silver, which I don't need. I need gold to some degree. Okay, well, unfortunate. This stuff will be important later, by the way. These different rooms, they're not useless. Here, for now. I need energy. To adventure! All right, we're back into the third floor. So, more exploring time, this time refreshed. To the right. So there's a switch there. Ow. I should do it. There's no response. There's monsters around, so I should defeat them before I do anything else. Alright, now let's check to see if this works or not. Nope, you have to actually defeat all the monsters. There we go. Now I can get through! So it's not this one. It must be the one in the bottom right corner down here. This place is a bit of a maze, but it's not that hard if you figure it out. Yep, sure enough. Oh no. Bad. Oh, I got something good. Uh, giant's finger, and I was really hoping it was gonna be something else. That should do it. Let's go. Oh. Huh. Well. I was just fighting them because I wanted to fight them. Not because I had to. I need their drops after all, so I would appreciate it if they actually dropped it when I beat them. Or not. Okay. This is one of them I need to beat. of a dragon starting to appear. It's a picture of a flying dragon. I wonder what it means. Level up. I think that's three in one video? <laughs> I'm level 50 already. 50 is what people commonly say is the point where you should be able to beat the game if you have the best equipment you can have. That means by the time we actually reach the end, we'll be able to do it fairly easily. Did they block it off here? No? Okay, let's... You son of a... There we go. The gate opened. Now I can move on. 
Alright. Another one of these guys. Now we have backup. I fear no man by that thing. Ah, here we go, guys. Part of the reason why I wanted to speed through the series so fast. Elemental areas. Not elemental. Seasonal areas, that's what I meant to say. With much tougher enemies that still drop the same things. Now, this is the gentle spring. Give me a moment. Okay, so right here... You can get onions. Not only can you get onions, but you can get pink melons, pink turnips, and the elusive golden cabbage. These four areas right here are how you get the golden vegetables. You can then turn them to seeds and grow them on your own farm. This is the entire reason why we I kept saying we definitely cannot finish cooking. Because of these stupid things. I won't do this right now. I have access to it, though. I actually think I have access to all of them at this point. And if so, wild. Truly amazing. Okay. Iron. 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 Bronze. An enemy. Where's the spawner? I don't see whatever spawner is spawning these enemies. Okay. Here's Machina Valleys. Or... Yeah, this is Machina Valleys equivalent to the Sorrowful Autumn. I believe here. Yep. This is where you can get the golden potato. Ah, uh, that's a spawner down there. Got it. This is the summer. Hey guys, guess what? Om nom 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 nom. Alright. That is the golden pumpkin that I was about to say we could get here. Oh! Okay, thanks game. I appreciate it. I'll eat this onion. Om nom 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 nom. And finally, the frigid winter. And this last one is where you can get the golden turnip. If you're looking for the golden veggies for certain things that you can absolutely need them for, this dungeon's what you need. Fun fun. Still so stupid that I managed that. Alright. A small bit of summer is hidden in the orb. It will appear at the vegetable's first sign of life. What's that supposed to mean? A small bit of spring is hidden in the orb. It will appear at the vegetable's first sign of life. A small bit of fall is hidden in the orb. It will appear at the vegetable's first sign of life. A small bit of winter is hidden in the orb. It will appear at the vegetable's first sign of life. You can't tell what this means. We have to fill the fields with veggies. This, I believe, is as far as I've been in the game. I mentioned before that I never beat this game. This is the reason. I had been playing for a while, I decided to grow a bunch of veggies, and it was either this or something a little bit further down. But a typhoon hit. And I hadn't saved in like a week in game, and I was burned out. So yeah, 
That's what this is all about. I guess I should. Give me one. If I'm being smart about this, right? Just demolish this field real quick. Tomorrow we'll plant the rest of the seeds here. So, as a reminder, you're gonna wanna get the fastest growing veggies possible. Now, even if, you know, you're having trouble with a certain guy taking the rest of the day off after like 2.30 in the afternoon, because he needs to go collect from you at 2.30 instead of six, it's fine if you have veggies. Uh, for instance, for the fall, if you have some, uh, uh, my brain starts shutting off, spinach growing or already in your fridge, just grab those, turn them into seeds. It's not that big of an issue. You should be taking advantage of everything possible. I am completely filled up all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some time to realize that you were right by my side. I don't know how long this episode's been going, so give me a moment. All right, this probably won't be a hugely long episode. It's been recording for about an hour and 13 minutes, including the end of the last episode. So probably about 50 minutes minus a couple interruptions I had. So yeah, this should be a fine length episode, around half an hour or so to 45 minutes-ish. That, that should be fine. We're going to end this here. Next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy horror smooth. I will start planting. I'll choose my crops and I'll show you what crops I'm going to do tomorrow. And we will start growing them all. There is no real speed up here. The best thing that like, oh, hey, you want to finish this game as soon as possible? Uh, Plant them, water them, go to sleep, wake up the next day and do it over and over again. I still need to get all the drops from the enemies. So that's probably what I'll be doing for the next few days in game. It'll probably be a few days together for the next episode because there's not a lot to say. There's not a lot to do. I have so much to show you. Hope you guys enjoy, and goodbye-bye. Mm -hmm.